Prince Harry received an apology from private investigator Gavin Burroughs on BBC's The Princes and the Press, a documentary about Prince Harry and Prince William's relationships with the media. I was basically part of a group of people who robbed him of his normal teenage years, Burroughs admitted, saying the early 2000s media culture was, quote, ruthless. In part one of the documentary, Burroughs also revealed that he previously targeted Harry's ex-girlfriend, Chelsea Davey, and even admitted that he looked into her medical records. There was a lot of voicemail hacking going on. There was a lot of surveillance work on her phones, on her comms. Chelsea would brag to her friends when she was going to see him, he revealed. Harry and Chelsea had an on-again, off-again relationship until 2011. In his apology, Burroughs said he's sorry and that he was, quote, greedy and, quote, living in a fake state of grandeur. The palace, on the other hand, was decidedly not happy about the princes in the press and issued a rare statement blasting the controversial documentary. A free, responsible, and open press is of vital importance to a healthy democracy. However, too often overblown and unfounded claims from unnamed sources are presented as facts, and it is disappointing when anyone, including the BBC, gives them credibility. The statement reads, Part 2 of the documentary is set to air on November 29th. Access Hollywood recently spoke with royal expert Charlie Langston, who looked back at the royal family's last year, describing it as, quote, turbulent. It has been quite a year for the royal family, I think. Turbulent, difficult, emotional, sad. There are so many things that can be talked about. There are so many difficult times that they have been through. Um, the loss of Prince Philip was an incredibly sad moment for everyone in the royal family. Um, there has been happiness with the birth of Meghan and Harry's daughter Lilibet and then there has been scandal with you know Harry and Meghan's sensational interview with Oprah so they really have been through anything and everything that could possibly have been thrown their way and I think they have as a result been thrust even more into the public eye than they ever have been before not just in the UK but around the world which you know, thanks to social media and so on and so forth, has really seen them face more speculation and scrutiny than they've ever had to.